Okay, so let's get started here. This is a FTDI serial adapter, a USB serial adapter. Here I have the ground wire, that's blue. Okay, that should be, um, what is that, the fourth pin, fourth pin from the right, from the left. Looks like it. Um, that's your ground wire. So I've that up to the ground on this interface. This is a regular switching diode, 1N4148. Hook the cathode up to the TX pin. Okay, I hook the anode up to the RX pin. This is your signal wire. Okay, this is the wire which um, actually does the data transfer to the radio. This wire, which is orange, is the, the wire which switches the unit into programming mode. You have to supply that with a positive voltage. I'm using 3.3 volts here on this um, particular unit, a Vertex Standard VX2100-E. So I've got it hooked up with a battery pack here and I want to show um, how this works here. So uh, it shows up on Linux as a USB serial interface. To use the interface, you have to change the permissions. I did that here. You go into VirtualBox, okay? This is the Windows XP which I'm using, a particular operating system. You enable the serial port and you select Host Device. Then you enter the device node here and click OK and start the machine. It should run. Okay, um, I'm going to erase, erase these channels here. Now this is tricky here. So this is the button you use to upload to the radio. So if you were to click this button, it would erase all the channels on the radio. This is the button you use to download from the radio. So I'm going to click this button. It says switch radio on. It wasn't plugged in all the way. Okay, so now it says programming. You see the interface is working. It is downloading from the radio. Okay. There's my channels. So that's how it works. Now, this wire here, if you don't hook it up to a positive voltage, it won't program. If you do hook it up to a positive voltage, the radio resets constantly. Now, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be, but um, this is how it worked, okay? So I hope that's helpful for you.